you very much, Pastor. It's good to be with you. Thanks to me, a lot of life in here. We will only try to add to that. Hold your hand. What you will see today 
is a demonstration of God's power. Lo que usted va a ver hoy es una demostración del poder de Dios. The Bible says if you can only believe, you will see the glory of God. La Biblia dice que si tan solo puedes creer, verás la gloria de Dios. We have meetings somewhere all the sick are healed. Tenemos reuniones donde todos los enfermos sanan. Now no man can heal. Ahora, nadie puede sanar a otra persona. I cannot heal. Yo no puedo hacer. There's only one man that can. Solo hay un hombre que lo puede hacer. And it's our faith in Jesus Christ. Y es nuestra fe en Jesucristo. Through faith, mountains can be moved. Con la fe, las montañas se pueden mover. Whatever you have need of today, through faith, God will make it possible. Todo lo que necesito es hoy, con la fe, Dios lo hará posible. So you will see God's power demonstrated today. Así que hoy vas a ver el poder de Dios demostrado. I cannot be a human little bug. Yo no puedo sanarme a un insecto. But my Bible says, Pero mi Biblia dice, where two or three are gathered in the name of the Lord, donde dos o tres se en el del Señor, He will be there. Él ahí. So do we have more than two or three? Así que tenemos más de dos o tres que creen. One, two, three, five, I think we have more than two or three. Creo que tenemos más de dos o tres. Stand with me if you will. You have your Bibles, raise your Bible. What you hold in your hand is the most powerful book in the world. The Bible says every promise in there belongs to you. Turn in your Bible to the Gospel of John. Evangelio San Juan. Chapter 1. Capítulo 1. Chapter 1, verse 4. El verso 4. You there say amen. Si ya lo yo diga amen. I'm going to read the first four words of verse 4. Voy a leer las primeras cuatro palabras del verso 4. What does it say? ¿Cómo dice ahí? In him was life. En él estaba la vida. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word this morning. Some said they needed a healing in their body. Raise your hand. Hold your hand high. Hold your hand high. Now the Bible says that faith comes by hearing the word of God the priest. La fe viene por oír la palabra de Dios cuando es predicada. The book you hold in your hand is the most powerful book in the world. El libro que tienes en la mano es el libro más poderoso en el mundo. The word of God is powerful. La palabra de Dios es poderosa. You're going to see it in action today. Y la vas a ver en acción hoy. Hold your hand. Let us pray. Oremos. Our gracious heavenly Father. Precioso Padre celestial. We come giving you thanks. Venimos dándote gracias. For you are the giver of life. Porque tú eres el calor de vida. You're the creator of all things. Eres el creador de todas las cosas. And you're the giver of every good gift. We come to you humbly today, Lord. We need 
deserve nothing from you. Lord, it's by your grace that you have touched our lives. We come confessing our own sinfulness. We're unworthy to be even in your presence, Lord. No me deseo ni siquiera estar en tu presencia, Señor. We come confessing our own sin. Venimos confesando nuestro pecado. Lord, forgive us today. Señor, perdónanos hoy. We pray that you extend your mercy to us today. Te pedimos que mantes tu misericordia a nosotros hoy. Demonstrate your power among us. Demuestra tu poder entre nosotros. We believe your word, Lord. Creemos tu palabra, Señor. And we believe that you will manifest yourself today. We humbly ask you, Lord, to show your power in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask the faith of God in the lives of these that are sick. We pray that faith arise in here today. In Jesus' name. All the people said. You may be seated. Nadie platicando de el chicle. La presencia de Dios es preciosa y no queremos que Él se nos vaya cuando se va la unción. No queda nada, hermano. Así que, por favor. He said your saints because wherever the presence of God is, you want to be very reverent. Creo, Él dice estas cosas porque estamos en presencia de Dios y necesitamos tener mucha reverencia. I, I like the, I love the Mexican people, they are very reverent and very respectful of the things of God. Amo a la gente mexicana porque son muy reverentes y muy reconocidos de las cosas de Dios. Hallelujah. Now you said, usted dijo, that you believe that Jesus is here. See, if you really believe that Jesus is who he is and he does what he says he does, it changes your behavior. So, what is your name, sir? Huh? Christopher? Like a Christian, huh? You love Jesus? Ah, Jesus. Christopher, what would you do if you saw Jesus if he appeared to you? Who believes that Jesus is here? Now, I just read you the scripture that says, In him was life. So wherever Jesus is, Así que donde que está Jesús, there is life. The apostle said, you can look at nature and see the created hand of God. El apóstol dijo, tú puedes ver la naturaleza y ver la mano creadora de Dios. We have some of the best scientists in the world in the U.S. 
En Estados Unidos tenemos los científicos me mejores del mundo. Man achieves great things. El hombre alcanza muchas cosas grandes. These scientists have built bombs that will blow up the whole world. Los científicos han hecho bombas que harían explotar a todo el mundo. They, they, they built automobiles that will drive all over the road. Han hecho vehículos que te llevan por todo el camino. And crash into each other. Y, pero que chocan uno con otro. But listen to me. Pero escúchame. Not one scientist can grow a flower. No hay un científico que pueda hacer que una flor crezca. The only one that can give life is Jesus. El único que puede dar vida es Jesús. In Houston, Texas, we have the best doctors in all of the world. In Houston, Texas, tenemos a los mejores de doctores de todo el mundo. We have the best heart doctors. Tenemos a los mejores cardiólogos. We have the best cancer doctors. Tenemos a los mejores médicos que tratan con asuntos de cáncer. We have the best children's doctors. Tenemos a los mejores pediatras. Doctors are good. Los doctores son buenos. They, they are the mercy of God to humanity. Son la misericordia de Dios para el ser humano. But no doctor can heal you. Pero ni uno de ellos te puede sanar. If you go to the doctor and say, doctor, I broke my arm, I want you to heal me. Si usted va al doctor y le dice, oiga, doctor, me quebré el brazo, quiero que usted me sane. The doctor will say, I cannot heal you arm. El doctor te diría, yo no te puedo sanar el brazo. But he can set your arm and he can put a cast on it and he can give you some medicine. Pero te puede acomodar el brazo, ponerle un, un yeso y, y darte medicamento. He said, come back in two weeks. Y te dice, venga en dos semanas. And he checks to see how your arm is healing. Y, y revisa el brazo para ver cómo va el progreso de sanidad. Because there's only one healer. Porque solo hay un sanador. His name is Jesus. Y se llama Jesús. And you said you believe that he's here. Y usted dijo que usted cree que él está aquí. Amen. So how do we know where God is? Entonces, ¿cómo sabemos dónde está Dios? Wherever God is, there's life. Donde está Dios, hay vida. Amen. Jesus spoke up at one of the Jewish celebrations in the temple and he cried with a loud voice and he says he said if anyone drinks the water if you're thirsty if anyone drinks the water that I give him Jesús hablando en, en una reunión de la iglesia se levantó y habló en voz alta y dijo si ustedes toman un trago del agua que les doy he said if Anyone drinks the water that I give him, he will never get thirsty again. Dijo, si alguien toma un trago del agua que le doy, no volverá a tener sed. Did he say that? Dijo eso. He said, not only will you not get thirsty. Él dijo, no solamente no vas a tener sed. He said, there will be a river of water that comes out of you. Dijo, habrá un río de agua que sale de ti. How do I know if God is in your life? ¿Cómo sé que Dios está en tu vida? It looks like some of them have been sucking on lemons, brother. Parece que algunos de ustedes han estado chupando limón a río. How does anyone know that God is in your life? ¿Cómo va a saber alguien que Dios está en tu vida? You will have a river that flows from you. Habrá un río que sale de ti. Don't tell me you're a Christian. Show me that you're a Christian. 
No me digas que tú eres cristiano. ¡Demuéstralo! And your daddy has a lot of money. 
Y tu papá tiene mucho dinero. So we want to pick 12 men to follow Jesus that are very intelligent and very rich. Así que queremos 12 que sigan a Jesús que son muy inteligentes y que tienen dinero. You think maybe they're Baptist brothers? A lo mejor se convirtieron en bautistas aquí ya. Don't sound like Pentecostal church here. No parece iglesia pentecostés. They had no formal education. No tenía educación formal. They had no money. No tenían dinero. But they were picked and chosen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Pero fueron escogidos por el Rey de Reyes, el Señor de Señores. They were chosen to be the apostles of the Lamb of God. Fueron escogidos para ser los apóstoles del Cordero de Dios. They were picked. You can't educate God 
into a man? Tú no puedes educar a una persona a uh, en un hombre. You have to be born again. Tú tienes que nacer de nuevo. The only way you're going to know God is to be born again. De la única manera que vas a conocer a Dios es que nazcas de nuevo. You can't know God by going to a Bible school. No puedes conocer a Dios yendo a una escuela bíblica. You have to get alone with God in a closet somewhere. Tienes que estar a solas con Dios y buscarlo en algún lugar. And you become acquainted with Him. Y empiezas a conocerlo a Él. Luke 10, 19. Lucas 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm you. He aquí les doy el poder de pisar serpientes y escorpiones sobre toda fuerza del enemigo y nada os dañará. He says, I give you authority Dijo, le doy autoridad. Over all the power of the devil. Sobre todo el poder del diablo. Why? Para qué? See, because the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Mira, el diablo viene a matar, robar y destruir. So Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Jesús vino a destruir las obras del diablo. John writes. In his epistles, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Because I'm here. Yo estoy aquí. 
You can believe what you want to believe. You have to decide. I know he's with me. You have to decide if he's with you. Amen. John the Baptist says, I am not that light. But I'm here to bear witness of that light. In him was life, and that light was the light of men. I'm not that light. But I can tell you about some miracles that were amazing. I cannot do miracles. I cannot heal people. But I've seen thousands. That's why I know that there will be healings here. Por eso sé que habrá sanidades aquí. Amen. Almost everyone that we pray for, they're healed. Thank you. I wasted my water. I promise not to throw water on you. <laughs> Only if you're asleep, I will throw water on you. Solo si te caes dormido, te voy a bañar. Is it okay, Pastor? Okay. Está bien, Pastor. So you better wake up. Así que despierto. I'm going to think you've been sucking on lemons if you don't smile. <laughs> Amen. You said Jesus was here. John writes in his gospel in John 14. He said, in a little while the world will see me no more. But you will see me. For I will be with you and in you. What did you what did he mean? He said, I'm leaving. Digo, me voy. The world won't see me. El mundo no me verá. But you will see me. Pero usted me verá. Because I'm coming back. Porque yo voy a regresar. In the person of the Holy Spirit. En persona del Espíritu Santo. And I will be in you and with you. Y estaré con ustedes y en ustedes. There's nothing greater in all the world than for Jesus to live in you. No hay nada más grande del mundo que Jesús esté en usted. Are you ready to see Jesus? ¿Están listos para ver a Jesús? You are. ¿Están listos? Amen. Now, if Jesus is here, si Jesús está aquí, He will prove that He's here. Él va a demostrar que Él está. I want you to watch very close. Quiero que observe con cuidado. Now we see Jesus by eyes of faith. Now I believe he's here. Because everywhere I go there are miracles. One of the leading pastors in Jerusalem came to Jesus by night. His name was Nicodemus. He came by night because he was afraid of the Jews. See, they had no organization to denominations in those days. He was afraid of his job. He told Jesus, Sir, we know you're sent from God because no man can do these miracles unless God is with him. Él le dijo a Jesús, sabemos que vienes de Dios porque nadie puede hacer lo que tú haces si Dios no está con él. I can heal no one. Yo no puedo sanar a nadie. But you're about to see the demonstration of God's power. Pero vas a ver la demostración del poder de Dios. And he's going to prove to you that he's here. Y él te va a demostrar que él está aquí. 
Now, he said, these signs will follow those who believe. Él dijo, estas señales seguirán a los que creen. How can we know those that believe? ¿Cómo conocemos a los que creen? How do we know those who believe? ¿Cómo conocemos a los que creen? He said there will be certain signs. Él dijo, habrá señales. He said, those that believe, they will speak in new tongues. Él dijo, los que creen, hablarán nuevas lenguas. They will cast out demons. Echarán fuera demonios. They will lay hands on the sick people. Pondrán las manos sobre los enfermos. And the sick people will be healed. Y los enfermos sanarán. How do we know that Jesus is with somebody? ¿Cómo sabemos que Jesús está con alguien? There are certain signs. Hay señales. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also. We're living in the last days. It's a time when God wants to demonstrate his power to all the world. What are the purpose of signs? That the world might believe. So you will get a sign. Now see, it's the grace of God that you have the gospel preached to you. You don't need to preach many times, you only need to preach one time. No necesitas que te predique muchas veces, solamente una vez. That's the mercy of God. Es la misericordia de Dios. And when He demonstrates His power to you, y cuando Él demuestra su poder, for you to go away and not follow Him would be a sin. Y que tú te vayas y no le sigas a Cristo será un pecado. Jesus would heal people. He said, "Go your way and sin no more." Jesús amaba a la gente y le decía, "Vete y no peques." Unless something worse comes on you. There's no time to play games, young people. We are living in the final days. That we must be ready. Now I'm going to ask everyone to be very reverent. Children, don't be walking around. You are in the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If you really believe that, you would act like you believe that. I was in Veracruz and I asked a woman, I said, what would you do if Jesus appeared here? She said, I think I would die. I said, that was a good answer. Because John in the first chapter of Revelation said, I fell as one dead. Porque Juan en el primer capítulo del Apocalipsis dice, caí como alguien que se muere. Daniel said, I fell as one dead. Daniel dijo, caí como alguien que se murió. When you really believe that he's here, it changes everything. Cuando realmente crees que está presente, cambia todo. If you approach him with sincerity and reverence, mountains can be moved. Si te acercas con sinceridad y reverencia, las montañas se podrán mover. Children, I'm going to ask that you be very still. Jóvenes, te pido que por favor quédese quieto. You're going to see God demonstrate His power. Van a ver que Dios demuestra su poder. What do you have need of? ¿Qué necesitas? Some raised their hand and said, I need healing. 
Raise your hand. Alguien levantó la mano y dijo, necesito salud en mi cuerpo. Levanta su mano. Yo te lo vamos a hacer. Ahí va, hermano, levantadas. I want you to come and I want you to stand in front. Quiero que venga y usted de pie aquí adelante. Los enfermos. Some churches we preach in are very large and I can't pray for everyone. En algunas iglesias que son muy grandes no puedo orar por todos. Come very quickly. If, if, Venga rápido si quieres. You need it. Come very quickly. Faith always responds quickly. La fe siempre responde rápido. Very orderly, very orderly, very quietly. Calladamente y en orden, por favor. Very orderly, very quietly. Now, if Jesus is here, si Jesús está aquí, and you believe, y usted cree, you will see the manifestation of God's Spirit. Van a ver la manifestación del Espíritu de Dios. Very well, very well. Con mucha reverencia. And if you're not here, just be in prayer with us. Y si no estás aquí adelante, por favor, póngase ahora allá en su lugar. You don't have to close your eyes, you can watch. No tiene que cerrar los ojos, se puede ver, pero póngase ahora. If you've never seen miracles, then you're about to see miracles. Si nunca había visto milagros, lo va a ver. It'll be a sign to you. Y se va a enseñar para usted. Young people, this is a good day for you. Jóvenes, es un buen día para ustedes. Someone that's made you a lot of pain. Is someone here? Ah, uh, alguien. Tal vez tenga mucho dolor. Alguien de ustedes aquí tiene dolor. Muy fuerte. So, so. Mucho dolor. So, we're giving pain now. Me duele ahorita. Ahorita me duele dolor. Somebody else has much pain. Ah, alguien más que tenga mucho dolor. Someone else. Someone else. Anyone else? Alguien más que tenga mucho dolor. That you can see the demonstration of God's power. Comienzo a hablar por los que están con mucho problema para que se vea la demostración del poder de Dios. And that allows the faith of God to come up in the building. Y eso permite que la fe se eleve. Now what is your name? ¿Cómo se llama usted? Ana. Ana. Ana, how long have you had this? Desde cuando me duele. Está yendo. 
Cristo no está ya en Monsanto. It's all gone. You've had this pain for a year. She said she's had this pain for one year. And she said the pain's all gone. It's been very bad pain. Dios va a tratar su matrimonio. 
¡Aleluya! Father, I pray that you do a work in these lives. 
these new believers? Lord, no going back to the world. But I pray that you fill them with your spirit. Use them for your glory, I pray, Father. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Have you ever seen anything like this, sir? Have you ever seen anything like this? Have you ever seen anything like this? Have you ever seen anything like this? No. Sir, it's a sign for you. Para usted, esto es una señal. That you would go and sin no more. Para que ya no pequen más. And today, hoy, you can rededicate your life to Jesus. Puede dedicar su vida a Jesus. You're seeing a demonstration of God's power right now. Somebody else, somebody else sick in pain. Is It's one, is it? It's one. So it's not. There's pain and You can watch, you don't have to close your eyes, but you need to be very reverent. No tiene que cerrar los ojos, siga con los ojos abiertos, pero con mucha reverencia. No estamos en el mercado. Si you have to be reverent in the presence of the Lord. Tiene que tener reverencia en la presencia de Dios. Because it disturbs the Holy Spirit if you're not reverent in the house of the Lord. Porque si no hay reverencia al Espíritu Santo se contrista. But if you're reverent, you will see the demonstration of God's power. Pero si hay reverencia se verá la demostración del poder de Dios. Do you believe if I pray, this will go? Saint loose this woman from her infirmity in Jesus' name. Command all pain to go, all inflammation. See, it's the spirit. You rebuke the spirit and the pain has to go. Satan's responsible for it. Tell me where the pain goes, man. Feel the pain. Move. 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 Move.
Young people, isn't this good? You just came back from camp and you're seeing the demonstration of God's power. Oiga, ustedes estaban diciendo que venían de un, de un campamento y que habían visto la gloria y, y están viendo la demostración del poder de Dios. ¿Es el que bueno? ¿No es bueno esto? Bueno. Amén. Amén. ¿Alguien más con dolor? ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Qué le pasa The pain, it will try to come back. See, I'm rebuking the spirit. It's like a demon. He will come. He will come back, and he will want to come back in again. So, what are you going to say? The swelling will continue to go down as you go your way. You go give glory to God. You go give glory to God. Amen. Is this the boy? Yeah. And what's the man? I'm surprised the pain is still there. There's pain now. Did you see all these miracles? Listen to me. Escucha. 100% so far. Hasta ahorita, el 100%. I cannot even heal a little bug. Yo no puedo sanarme a un insecto. Pastor. Pastor. ¿Qué dice, Pastor? ¿Es bueno? ¿Está bien esto? ¿Es bueno? Good. Satan, I command you to loose this young man. Satanás, te mando a soltar este hombre. From this infirmity. De esa enfermedad. In Jesus' name. Tell me where the pain goes. Dime cuando el dolor ya no está. Algo que no puede, no podía. Who else? Respira hondo. What do you need? Busca pelo. Tell him to stand right there. Que te ayude. ¿Qué le pasa?
She said she had pain in her head. She had, it's gone. It's gone. Ten years. Huh? Ten years of pain. Ten. Work. She said she was in pain ten years. And she's been in pain for ten years. And the pain is gone. That's the point of and now she's pain free. Oh, over this side, you concentrate over here. Look here, here. And it's all gone? Where is it? Where is it at? Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. I, I can pray for somebody with a pain in their shoulder and it will move to their leg. Yo puedo orar por alguien que tiene dolor en el hombro y se le va a la pierna. That just means that the demon is scared. He thinks he knows he's got to leave. Eso quiere decir que el demonio tiene miedo y sabe que se tiene que ir. The devil never wants to leave. No quiere irse. But he has to leave. Pero tiene que irse. Now I want you to watch this. You can watch, be very reverent. Watch, watch what happens. Now this is a sign to you. It's a sign to you of God's power. Now I'm going to rebuke him to leave all the way. In Jesus' name, give me your hand. Satan, I command you to loose this woman from her infirmity. It's not right for Satan to afflict a child of God. He has no right. So I command him to lose his home from this morning. She's been afflicted for 10 years. And I hate the works of the devil. And he has to obey us. Tell me when it needs them. Are you taking video, Mark? This woman afflicted 10 years with a blood box or something on her head, in her head, in pain. After rebuking that spirit, the pain is gone and her faith has made her whole completely in Jesus' name. We will show your video, ma'am. You go rejoicing. Now Satan will try to come back. Young people, wave at me. Wave at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Who went to the camp? Who went to the camp? Who went to the camp? Went to the camp? There is no accident that I'm here today, young people. If you see this and you go back into the world, there's no hope. I have to answer. Now I want to ask you that we serve a supernatural God. Servimos a un Dios sobrenatural. You watch me rebuke Satan. And he laughed. Peter said, This promise is to you. And to you. And to you. And to you. And to you. This promise of the Father. This is not just for Nathan Smalley. This promise is to you to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Now, who has not been prayed for? Okay, you're not going to pray for yourself. You're going to lay hands on the person next to you. No more prayer for yourself. You're going to lay hands on the person 
person next to you. Come here, come here. Now I'm going to show you something. The Bible says pray one for another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. Forget about your pain. Forget about your sickness. Now this woman's just been healed. She's going to pray for this man. Esta mujer acaba de sanar y ahora va a por el nombre. Are you together? Are you together? Oh, your husband. What's your name, husband? ¿Cómo se llama el esposo? Jesus. I told you Jesus was here. Le dije que Jesús estaba aquí. What's the problem, Jesus? ¿Qué le pasa a Jesús? Make it 
Yo, yo siento la fe en esta lucha. I feel faith in the building right now. What do you need? What do you need? ¿Qué necesitas? ¿Qué What do you need? Aquí hay fe. What do you need? ¿Qué necesitas? Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe Jesus is in the building? ¿Tú crees que Jesús está aquí en la iglesia? Yeah. I believe Jesus is in the building. Yo creo que Jesús está aquí en este lugar. Pastor. Pastor. Por favor. Please pray for us as we go. Por favor, ore por nosotros. Ya nos vamos. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Tal vez volvamos otra vez. We're going to say bye bye. Vamos a decir hasta luego. But God is going to stay right here. Pero Dios sigue aquí. We can look at this. Nos vamos. Ya le damos a Jesús. Amen. 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 Amen.